right here and your thighs too. And uh, I've been doing that for probably eight weeks and I can definitely feel a difference and see a difference. And I've had people commenting on it too. Uh, you can also, I don't know how to demonstrate this, but you can also lift both legs like this and that really works out down here. And uh, the other thing that I do is when I'm reclining, I lift them straight out. And that also works out this abdominal area. And you can really feel it in your thighs a lot. And I do 20 reps of each of those things. And it really has made a difference. The thing you can do that will help the abs and uh, the thighs and hips is uh, just kind of doing some high steps around the gym. It's a way to also finish up your, your workout. It kind of uh, stretches those muscles a little bit and uh, lets you warm pull down. I legs really high, really slow. And that does a really good workout for your abs and your thighs and your hips. And when you're pausing at the top, you should feel a contraction in those yeah. abs and then slowly as you go down, um, that, that, that's a good little extra ab workout. Mm -hmm. uh, what I do is when I'm on this side of the gym and it's time to be done with my workout, that's how I walk back to the dressing room. <laughs> and you could also walk in place at home. Oh, you could absolutely. do that in your home or right. in your room or yeah. basement or wherever yeah. so that doesn't take up a lot of space. The walking is great. You could just actually walk in place, I think, if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, absolutely. And I also uh, kind of do this. Right? And where do you feel that? Um, we're definitely right here at the bottom of, of your abs. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Jackie. This is a great update. You're doing a great job. Marlon, I do have a question for you. Uh, I feel like I am really firm and getting tall. Okay, thank you, Jackie. I'll tell you real quickly, one of the things that we've been noticing with the, a lot of the younger females that we're working with is that we're having some groin pull, groin muscle pulls, things of that nature, and we notice that we need to start working that area. What I want you to do is put your feet about, about shoulder width apart, maybe just a little bit more, and now we're, instead of doing the straight knee ups that you were doing, I want you to take that knee out to a 90 degree angle. Just one at a time, real slow, lift it, lift it up, add an, like that, or maybe even a little bit less. Okay. Okay, now do the other one and rotate them. And I want you to do a few of those, and then let's do about, let's rotate every other leg and do about five of them, and then tell me how that feels. Okay, so you're starting to feel it in that inner yeah. inner thigh area, what I call groin area. So now, are, where else are you feeling? Uh, I can also feel it right here in the back of my thighs. Okay, so what we're doing then is we're balancing those two areas. That's one thing that we're having we're doing with the younger girls in in sports for soccer and and for cheerleading gymnastics is that one thing we notice that is if they do start to get a little bit stronger in the in the quadriceps and and the hip flexor that we've got to counterbalance that with the inner thigh. How long should I hold it up like that? I I think that's just up to whatever you feel comfortable with. You might start with just a a short pause and then now let since you've been working on this, let's let's try a couple because we're just experimenting here. Jackie actually honestly did just ask the question. I want you to lift it up and pause and hold it for maybe a count of two. Okay. One, two. Now let's rotate to the other one and let's come back and let's do both sides a couple times. And so, so you feel the difference and I there. Feel right here too. And now, okay, so you're feeling it in that lower yeah. abdominal area. Right. Any other exercises I can do to target my inner thighs? Okay, Jackie, come over here real quick, and I want you to put one arm out and just kind of balance yourself and use that that as an assister. Okay. 
Now what I want you to do is I want you to take your left leg and I want you to take it like you would do a just a, a leg lift to the side but but don't about that height now I want you to bring it back across like a pendulum back and forth back and forth try that and you might pause at both extensions okay. sort of that's an extension and then the other is what's called a flexion coming back okay now tell me if you feel that in that inner thigh area right here. on the inner thigh are you feeling it up in the groin area yes. okay now let's switch to the other side and try that other leg And maybe maybe that wall's in your way, but, a bit, but I can still so you're still feeling it where? I feel it right here and back here too. Okay, so we're getting uh, right both here, sides, both sides too. and that's one thing that with anybody, whether you know you're just trying to tone and firm or athletically, um, you know we want to get a, a, a balance of both sides, and we want to get that inner thigh so that you get your well toned symmetrically around your leg yeah. and then as I said with the with the female athletes we really need to do that it's we are just noticing an increase in groin injuries muscle pulls and things of that nature where they're having trouble and and this is something that we've done in the past couple of weeks to try to fix that yeah, so anyway perfect well I tell you what let's uh, let's have you do that over the next couple of weeks okay. And then let's come back and see how you feel and, and, and see where you're at at that point. Okay, sounds great. Okay, thanks, Jack.